Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Um, in question uh, to part two of Warren Slaney. Many, many requests and some un unanswered questions. Uh, that Uncle Yami, as always, comes back up to put the set the record straight and straight from the horse's mouth. And I always tell you the best that I know or the best that I hear. If I'm there, I tell you. If I'm not there, I tell you. You know that by now. But when they rushed Warren Slaney in Franklin, 10, 15 of them, they made a bodge job of it. So you see his presence and aura, that seemingly invincibility for years and years and years, every single big name. Not that they would ever be scared of him, because you know some of mine, biggest love, my biggest loves of all time. You know, I, I question whether one on one that he could win those. You know that already, and I've told you this. But how, who am I? Who can ever tell, especially when you've got two men meeting head on who are prepared to die for themselves to win? Ooh, too much for me. But he carried that presence and aura and fear. Anyone near him, you would be going, oh, no, I don't want to look. Because you know that if you catch his eyes and look on one of those days, he's going to go, what are you looking at? And he's going to set off. So, factual. If a 100 men were on the yard and they called him out, to have it out, he would turn up on his own and have it with the whole yard, win, lose or draw. It doesn't matter with him. I try to drum it into his head. There's a new generation coming. They don't do it the same as the old way with a one-on-ones wall. Do you think you ever listen to Uncle Yami? He don't hear that kind of stuff. He's not that kind of man. He's hurting because he believes he's unjustly away. So he made a bod job of the job in Franklin. You sent him to Wakefield. You got a clip snipered by one of the greatest youngsters from East Coast, London, to ever come out of there. DC, he put you on the deck. Right, fact, right? You weren't looking, whatever, it doesn't matter. You took account. I'm with four geezers in the Cates. News travels really, really fast. And they are celebrating, saying, yes, Yami, your boy. I said, yeah, but anyone can take account. It doesn't matter about that. You know, like, it's getting older anyway, that kind of thing. But they would, they, you know, news does travel fast. And I had good reason to believe that this is what took place. And this is why. And I always give it to you straight as I know it, the facts. Uh, so after that celebratory day, one or two days have gone past. The same guy that brought back the celebratory moment of the great Warren Slaney hit, taking account for the first time in history after being snipered, gets a call. P.O. P.O.'s office. He goes in there, into prison phone call with his brother in Wakefield, comes back out of the office. I said, what's going on? He said to me, oh, no. Yeah, me. I said, what? He said to me, uh, Warren Slaney, allegedly, you know, don't quote me on this one, but I, this is what was told to me, right? And this is facts. So both sides of the coin. So he turned round and said to me, he said to me, Yami, your mate. Why does he keep saying my mate? Yeah, he's my mate. So you're my mate. I love you too. But he was nearly in tears because the great WS allegedly couldn't get the man because the man that sniped him with a punch that put him on the floor wasn't no longer around because the screws saw it. So they moved him. So what did he do? He ran upon two of his besties, which was the man that was in the PO's office having an inter-prison phone call with his brother in Wakefield. Uh, says to me that Slaney allegedly comes into the kitchen and snaps both of their heads with tools for the first time in life. Allegedly, he was meant to have used weapons. But I can't bring that. I wasn't there. But I'll tell you what they told me. And that comes from the horse's mouth coming up later uh more drama but that's just answering your question big man richie i uh, hope it satisfies me that uh, but that's how i know it and uncle yami puts it all together first before i make these kind of uh talks do you see what i mean and my memory serves me correctly which you always know and i always remember because i was the one in the thick of it talking to everybody so there you are sending loads of love coming up soon